So hello, my name is Emma Wiesner, I'm 26 years old from Sweden and I'm one of the change makers on this year's uh, International Student Energy Summit. I am Churchill Lamundia Gutu and I am the founder of an organization called the Africa Green Collar Project. So I'm Joshua, uh, I'm from the Philippines and I work for a development organization. Hi, my name is Alec Maklis and I'm the founder and uh, CEO of a company called Gridspan Energy that does work with mobile battery systems for islands. Well, Student Energy gave me this really international perspective. I've always been involved in politics, so I've been mixing politics with engineering. And I always knew that I wanted to work with policy to influence society, but Student Energy really broadened my perspective. So I was starting thinking more of an international way. How can we influence energy system on a global level? So being at Student Energy uh, Summit in Indonesia really gave me perspectives from, from all around the world and really seeing that the energy system is much broader and you have to work with it on a global level. So Student Energy really got something unique that no other organization that I've been in touch with really have. We talk about both the cooperations but also the solutions. Not talking only about why, we also talk about how, how to do it. Well, I think we can make all the difference because I, I work from a policy perspective and the current policies that we have, they led us here. So they're apparently not efficient enough. So we need to be inno innovative, uh, be much more creative when it comes to policy. And that gives us room, the young generation, to actually get involved in politics, be innovative, uh, try new solutions, try new policies, because that's what we need right now. Um, I attended the Student Energy Summit in 2017 in Mexico, and I really loved what they were doing. And so um, it actually was the reason why we started the Africa Green Color Project. We started it from the Innovation Jam. And so this year we had an opportunity to come and talk about like some of the work that we've done since the summit. Just around that time I had this zeal and you know this yearning to sort of learn about energy and so I googled you know what energy programs are out there and when I came I had this opportunity to meet all these different people who are working in energy, doing different things in um, finance, doing things in social impact, doing things in um, engineering which is my background but then my biggest takeaway from the summit was that um, Energy is about a lot more other facets, you know, different conversations. You know, I mean, the biggest goal, at least from what I've seen with the Student Energy Summit, is to, first of all, teach you know, like young people and get young people like in the space on, what en on energy and what's happening in the space, and also to almost carry it forward. And the Africa Green Collar Project is really working to now do that for um, African students. And I think for us, like the best way and the way I see us working with and being part of Student Energy is contributing to that knowledge and insight, bringing that aspect of what does energy energy look like in Africa, you know, in Sub-Saharan Africa as well, like what does the conversation look like, what are the opportunities, what are the challenges and how can now we define those conversations, how can we define what a sustainable future for our continent means and take that story to other students. Uh, I think the, the impact that student energy had for me, uh, I got exposed to a lot of different people, different views and um, before, before I, I got exposed to student energy, uh, I'm like I felt like I was then in this little box as an engineer, like only engineers, I, I was thinking that only engineers could, could solve energy problems and then I met people who were working on policy, people working on the grassroots and it was like, okay, so we have all these different elements that we have to also consider. So that's how student energy impacted me. Student energy has had a huge influence on my career path. Um, I ended up meeting a great mentor who is a founder of um, Student Energy, a co-founder of Student Energy, Janice Tran, and she played a big role in kind of mentoring me and advising during kind of the last two years of, of starting this company. I think young people uh, need to be the difference and we are being the difference and it's exciting to be here and see uh, all the excitement and all the passion um, and I think it's great that we start with such a, a wide scope and there are all these ideas across the whole spectrum um, and people challenge thoughts and people challenge what, what, what is being talked about. We're going to have to be the generation to solve a lot of these pretty uh, daunting problems and so I think at a place like Student Energy with all these different perspectives of people across the world. Um, so you have diversity of perspective and backgrounds and knowledge, uh, which leads to some really cool creative uh, ideas that I think is the root of, of all positive disruption and innovation. You're not only 
providing students an opportunity to you know to learn about energy you're allowing them to be in a space where they can experience these conversations in different countries meet people from completely different backgrounds you know understand that you know that the energy conversation is not just about me it's almost about how all of us need to be in this space and figure out what exactly we need to do to create that sustainable future you know like it's almost like a movement where it doesn't matter who you are you fit in this conversation like you can never feel like an outsider so thank you student energy for that